Entrusting your loved one to As I always director, say, the train the is on the tracks and the director you news choose watch must understand the importance of the decision you. you have made. When Mr. Mr. Fry was broadcasting so the greatest castle in the world, he was saying, in the county of Lawrence, in the city 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 of and the director you should watch must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When Mr. Close Fry was broadcast so the greatest in the world, he was saying, in the county of Lawrence, in the city of Lawrence, in the city of Lawrence, with sincerity and confidence, the William and Roger Chicago funeral home has been in operation since 1990. In trusting your loved ones, as I always say, the train is on the tracks, and the director you should watch must understand the importance of the you have made. When Mr. Close Fry was broadcast so the greatest in the world, he was saying, in the county of Lawrence, in the city of Lawrence, in the city of Lawrence, in the city of Lawrence, with sincerity and confidence, the William and Roger Chicago funeral home has been in operation since 1901. Trusting your loved ones, as I always say, the train is on the tracks, and the director you should watch must understand the importance of the world. Made. When Mr. Close Fry was broadcast so the radio castle in the morning, he was saying, in the county of Lawrence, in the city 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 of Lawrence, Okay, folks, welcome to News Watch, October 17th, and uh, currently outside uh, as... Um, and we'll get to that in a second. 43 with rain, 93% humidity, 29.69 barometric pressure, visibility 10 miles, and I don't know how it's dark. And the wind chills 37. So uh, we'll get to that and sports and what's going on in the county. Um, as a community television station, <clears throat> For Newcastle, Lawrence County, this is important. Uh, you can't sugarcoat it. You can't candy coat it. It is what it is. And last night, at the confluence, Jewel, the man sitting to the left of the mayor, okay, and the mayor, Mr. Angelo, with the glasses to the right, okay stopped and um, explained in great detail Act 47 now quite a few of the things <clears throat> that have been said by Mr. Markalisco have been more than accurate you need to raise revenue. That's the bottom line. If you don't raise revenue, very simply, you go into receivership. And then you lose all control. And you can change the form of government in the Home Rule Charter. But the bottom thing they're going to look at at the exit strategy is did you raise revenue and are you sustainable? People quite frankly ask, well, what's sustainable? Well, that's in the eyes of the beholder because Jewel could say you're sustainable and the state say no or vice versa. So, you have to make sure that you have those jobs. Now, here's what was told to me 
when I asked Chris Fry if he'd tax the nonprofits. He said that he would use pilot, meaning voluntary, and that's some type of voluntary program. That doesn't give you money for a sustainable future. It was asked at the meeting, what if I hit the lotto and I want to give the city some money? How much are we in the hole? And Joel very eloquently said it doesn't work that way. He said, well, what if George Soros gives us $10 billion? He said, then you're, you're, do you're done. Because you're not going to spend $10 billion inside of one year, so you're done. You're sustainable. With this, and the things that I have said in the past about Chris and his special interests, I've been slowly noticing how the people that have been commenting haven't been in the city. And some of them even haven't been in the county. Isn't that a surprise? Chris's incubator project. And let me explain an incubator. It's for a start up business. Take it from me. Start up businesses take a while to get going. They don't go, oh, I started a business and you got all the taxes you need on the tax roll. Once again, voluntary payments, incubator, this guy here, <laughs> he, he's living in a dream world, just not your world. <clears throat> and if they don't have enough taxes, then they do have to raise property taxes. Isn't that something? So, when I said and made the statement about this, I was exactly right. It goes on to read some other things in here uh, that are just really preposterous. I asked, I asked a question. I said, um, you know, when you have a school, there's a thing called the resident to farm industry ratio. In the state of Pennsylvania, and you can look it up. that in order to do your finances, you have to have a decent ratio. I asked the woman, and she's not pictured here, from the state, is there a ratio for the city in types of human services to workers? Because, um, Quite literally, if you have a hundred people give a hundred dollars and you have a hundred poor people, everybody gets a dollar. As soon as you have two hundred poor people, everybody gets fifty cents. Four hundred poor people, everybody gets what, a quarter? And if you got a thousand, everybody's gonna get a dime. Now the point I'm making is as she turned and said, you're very observant. No, there's no, there's no uh, ratio like that. What she did say 
<clears throat> you've only got 30% of the people in Newcastle working paying taxes. So, back on a You Were There tour, NCTV 45 went to the city council meeting. And what was going to be purchased and what was up that day was the West Side School. And several people of African American descent begged for the proper zoning so that building wouldn't be sold the way it was. And I was standing outside, and a guy from Beaver, who was there trying to make the pitch for the building, I asked him where you were from. Where was he from? And he said Beaver. And I said to him, well, why don't you put it in Beaver? And he made the stupid comment that opened the door wide open that you're prejudiced against these people. No, I'm not. And then he went on to say, okay, everybody knows Newcastle's the Walmart of those type of services. Well, you have to have a lot more jobs to, to sustain that. Your city has to be a lot bigger. You can't operate with 30% of the people working inside of the city. That's not even half. So, um... Chris Fry, Mark Alinsko put out a three-part series. It's all about revenue. It's about revenue. Mark got it right. It's not about incubators, my friend. It's not going to go deep enough. It's like watching Bob Euchre in Major League. Wow, that was just a little outside. I don't know how he laid off that one. Remember, if the plan stinks and it looks like a skunk and it smells like a skunk, it ain't an elephant. So, um, that's my commentary on last night. Make sure that you tune in and uh, watch. Uh, not going to play the whole thing with, and it's not that long, so um, keep that in mind. The Lawrence County Council of Community Services today is having, from 10 to 2, their fair right over at the Sankey Center. Okay, um, that's on 125 West Grand Street. They'll have refreshments, door prizes, and um, it says stuff for the entire family. The kids will probably be in school. So uh, <coughs> check out that program over there, and uh, maybe there's some help you can get with health care or... Uh, several other things that they'll have there for you. Now, um, Iron Mill Farmstead, Saturday. And it's supposed to be nice. It's called a Fawn Battalion. Okay, face painting, Candy Canyon, Barnwell's Bubble Dance, Pig Races, uh, Barnwell's Glow and Dance Party and 
and fireworks. It's going to be fun for the whole family. Um, they will be shooting Candy Canyon three times instead of once. Check for the times. There will be hay rides. Chance to make those great <coughs> memories with your family. Don't pass that up. That is so very important. Pick your own apples and pumpkins. That's it. <coughs> Apple Castle. 227 State Route 18. And uh, Apple costs $10 up and based on the volume of apples. Uh, you can call them at 724-652-3221. They're going to have a great time there. Um, Brewfest, Saturday, October 19th from 3 to 7. This day will be filled with music, good food, and the best handcrafted local beers. Tickets are limited, so get ready and act fast. Appetizers include kielbasa, pierogies, flavored popcorn, beer, mac, and it's a mac and candy bacon skewers. Beer mac. Okay, that's probably with some type of beer cheese. Um, activities, horseshoes, ladder golf, cornhole, life-size pong, and Jenna. Call 724-698-7026 to get more information on that. Now, that was a whole plethora of... Uh, activities and news come at you this morning and um, if you haven't been watching last night's game was postponed with Houston and the Yankees and the weather San Antonio they topped Houston and uh over in the NFL, uh, well, that's tonight. So um, let's take a look at sports. We'll be right back. Here's restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars they features Mediterranean, Houston, pub food, Middle and, uh, Eastern cuisine, and so much over more. In the They're NFL. open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars uh, well, on the east event. side so, at 827 uh, Addis Street, Newcastle, 724. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania Sports features we'll many right amenities, lush fairways, and Here's a restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in a change from their shops. pleasing menu. Your the Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern uh, cuisine, uh, and so much more. The They're NSL. open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars uh, well, on the east side so, uh, at 827 uh, Addis Street, Newcastle, 724- Dovan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania Sports. features we'll many right amenities, lush fairways, and here's a restaurant in New Jersey wants you to indulge in any change on their pleasing menu. Your the Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and, uh, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars uh, well, on the east side at 827 uh, Addis uh, Street, New Jersey, 724. Dover Heights Golf Course in New Jersey, Pennsylvania features many amenities. Lush fairways and here's a restaurant in New Jersey wants you to invite the Cedars restaurant pleasing menu. Once you see the Cedars restaurant pleasing menu, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, New Jersey, 724. Features many contenders, lush fairways, 
Ryan. West wants you to something going on down at Mines and Meadows and uh, that's one of my goals to get down there and just see what it's like it's $25 per day per person and um, this is join us for Annual Pumpkin Hunt sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Search the trails on your ATV and UTV. I don't know what that is, but to find one of our many hidden pumpkins. Bring them back to uh, the trail, Power Sports, to claim your prize. Call 724 535 6026. To get more information and maybe make a reservation, um, that'd be a super time. Now, um, also, Cheeseman's Farm out in Portersville, Hay Rides, Petting Zoo, Hay Jump, Punkum Video upon request, concession stand, holiday items, pumpkin and, and gourds. Indian corn, corn stalks, hay bales, call 724-368-3233, and um, just enjoy the day. Now, Sunday, I, we already told you what was going on on Thursday and Friday and Saturday at Iron Mill Farms. Well, Sunday, they come back and um, they have a fun day planned and uh, a lot of things going out there now um, before we get and go to weather let's take a look at what things are like here currently 43 degrees and uh, Winds from the west, they're gusted to 17. We can see that looking out our window. Barometric pressure, 29.69. Dew point 41. Wind chill, 37. It is a little cold out there. And uh, you, could, you could just see it. Now, down in Elwood, uh, what you're getting is, let's check this out 43 
91% humidity, wind chills 36, wind gusts 13 to 22, and so uh, they've got it going pretty good down there uh, as far as that wind goes. Now when you take a look at local radar, things, um, well, have passed us. You've got some rain to the west of us, which means you're going to get wet and a lot more to the south and following the turnpike down to La Trobe. So um, let's take a look at Lawrence County 45 weather. Now, keep in mind, as you saw the last picture, I scrolled it, put it on me. I didn't hit one of the buttons that I should have hit and put my editor in a real bad spot. So um, let's take a look. We'll be right back. So, 
Well, we're back, and um, I I have to do this for you. Um, it, in our new system, sometimes they uh, there is not what I want to say an easy fix if certain things aren't clicked. Going from there, last night overnight was 43. Only getting up to 49 today. And um, it's going to rain. The chance of rain is significant enough to be all day. They're talking 60%. It will, the drizzle will end as we go through the day. Cloudy tonight, 39. Friday, 54. Partly sunny. Friday night, 36. With cloudy skies. Saturday, 64. Great day to do that. Family activity outside. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, 46. Sunday, sunshine at 68. Sunday night, partly cloudy, and uh, 49. Now, uh, that gives you some idea of what you have going forward. And just to let you know, as you get to Monday, mostly cloudy and 70. Monday night, showers creep up. Overnight, low 52, 60% chance of rain. That rain continues on Tuesday. Tuesday, 62, 60% chance of rain. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, 43, 40% chance of rain. And when you get to next Wednesday, out comes the sun, 57. And uh, that gives you a good idea. As you go into all the senior nights, they're either this week or next week at the high school football games. Make sure you bundle up, though, because it is going to be a little chilly. Now, um, back to things going on in Lawrence County. United Way Taste of the Town, that's 5 to 8 on Monday the 21st. Over 20 restaurants. The United Way's annual fundraiser uh, has been very successful in the past. Proceeds from the event go towards the United Way campaign. They need you to RSVP by Friday. The cost of uh, tables of 10 is $380. Individual tickets, 40. Call 724-658-8528. And uh, Shepherd's Lighthouse. Well, they're having a special transformed and transfigured fall revival Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 18th, 19th, and 20th. A fall revival will have 10 a.m. worship on Friday, 7 p.m. kickoff service, and uh, after the 7 p.m. kickoff service, then uh, there will be a 10 a.m. service on Saturday, 6 p.m. concert with Jeff Noble, Sunday, 10 a.m. service at Shepherd's Lighthouse and 6 p.m. Perlis Movie Fellowship um, in the Word. Rebecca Street, Shepherd's Lighthouse is located 416 Lindell in Newcastle. So uh, quite a few things going on there. Now um, let's take this break hear from these great sponsors and we'll be back with a wrap up right after this. House and 6 p.m. Perlis 
Special thanks going out to Town Hall Pizza for sponsorship. Special thanks going out to Town Hall Pizza for Welcome back, and um, just a few reminders. Uh, tonight, Thursday at 6.30, town hall meeting with Mike Kelly. They're going to talk about Medicare. Call 855-531-1063 to join. And um, thanks, Mike Kelly, for that. Also, um, you know, with Christmas and the holidays right around the corner, $700, $750 of gift cards would be nice. Well, the Newcastle Football Boosters are selling raffle tickets for your chance to win just that. And the cost of the tickets, $5. The drawing... November 24th, 7 p.m. Tickets, just $5. Make sure you see a Newcastle football booster for that information. Now, as we leave you, I always give you a song of the day. And this will be no different. Make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, when they say, I don't watch a lot of television, you tell them that NCTV 45 were available anytime on your time. He has a train that runs on your schedule. That's NCTV 45 right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County. So uh, as I leave you, it's old days by Chicago. And uh, make sure that you get that second cup of coffee. Maybe it's iced tea, a donut this morning, or something like that. And have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon. New it's Castle So, uh, as I leave you, it's old days by Chicago. And uh, make sure that you get that second cup of coffee, maybe it's ice tea, or something like that, and have a soup.